Hey guys, welcome to Codemas Day 9. This video will be kind of different from the others. From today till Sunday, we will be building a simple mini game uh, using JavaScript, of course, and HTML, CSS. We will build upon what we created yesterday, the flip card, and we will build a mini game of uh, guessing cards. So in the end, we will have three cards for the player to choose from and they will have to guess the correct card. I have already recorded the whole of it, but I will break it down into smaller videos because it would be like 40 or 45 minutes long and I didn't want this. I want those daily videos to be short and easy to watch. So yeah, I will break it down into smaller pieces from today until Sunday. So let's get to it. So this is yesterday's code. I did not change anything, but I added a script file, a JS file, which is basically empty. And I also downloaded a sprite. So first we will delete those texts here because we will not need them anymore. But we will keep everything else for now. So in the style sheet, let's uh, get rid of the background colors and change them with background image, which will be of course the image that we downloaded. So URL cards PNG. Now let's go to the code and refresh. We will see the sprite being shown here. Let's go to the container and actually let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's make it uh, 300 pixels and go to the front side to re resize the background. Because we know that the image can be divided in four uh, parts, let's say, we can go into CSS and write background size 400% which will effectively increase the size of the sprite by 400. Now the next thing we want to do, actually let's put this into our CSS file first. We will put it in the Flipkart side because we know that this class is used by both front and back side. So background size uh, 400%. Now also we want to increase the size of the container to 300 pixels and now let's go back to the HTML file to actually I want to also change the background of the body to make the card more dis distinguishable. Uh, let's see, let's go here and say dark blue this one. Much better. So let's go to the container and increase the height. Let's uh, make it for 30, oops, for 30. Uh, a little more, let's say 450, yes. That's it, 450 and refresh. Now, of course, both sides of our card are showing the same part of the image. So let's go ahead and fix this. First, with the container selected, let's go here to the hover and activate it. Now, what we see is the back side of the card, not the front. Let's go here and say background position. We want to, let's make, uh, let's make it one pixel now. What we want is to move the card to the left in order to show the other parts of it. So basically, if I type a positive number, we see that the image is moving to the right. So we know that we want to add a negative number to move it to the left. Since the width of our container is 300 pixels, we can safely assume that we can say minus uh, 300 pixels, we show uh, the second part. And also, if we say 600 pixels, we show the third part. As well as 900 pixels, of course, we'll show the last part of our image. If we increase it further, let's say, let's make it uh, 1000 to show you what I mean. It will rotate infinitely 
uh, the image, so it will not show an empty space, let's say. So what we want is to not write uh, the pixels hard-coded, we want to have it as a base uh, position, let's say, and use a number between 1 and 3 to choose one of the three cards. We can do this by putting the calculation in a calc, of course, and say times 1 will show the joker, times 2 will show the queen, and times 3 will show the king. So let's copy this calculation, because we will need it later. Let's paste it in our script to keep it here. That's all for today, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe. I will see you tomorrow for part 2. Enjoy your day!